Paul, thanks for talking to us this morning. You know, everyone knows about your connection with Portsmouth, but even if there wasn't that connection, it's just a fixture to look forward to, isn't it? They're all tough games. You know, Fratton Park under the lights is an amazing experience for any player, coach, manager. Uh, the atmosphere down there will be electric. The fans support the team so well. Um, it'll be red hot atmosphere. It's a great environment us, for us to go in and have a really challenging game. It's only a day or two after the Cambridge match. What's the general vibe about the place? Because you've got to be looking forward to the next fixture, but there's also probably a little bit of deflation yeah, after. I, I, for know. any team, when you're 2 0 up, if you draw 2 2, you feel like you've won. Mm. And if you've gone the opposite way, you feel like you lost. It's football. We left the stadium after equalising against Sheffield Wednesday like it was a win. Yeah. And as a manager, you've just got to manage it. You know, you've got to keep going. It's a, it's a tough league. It really is. The games can be unforgiving, both in travelling and game expectancy. And Portsmouth are a good side. They've got a lot of good players. You know, it'll be a really tough test for us tomorrow. There's probably both sides looking at that one, thinking if we can get the win there, you know, in a tough fixture, then kick on from there. Just your next challenge is your biggest one. Mm. You know, Portsmouth's no bigger than Cambridge Saturday, Fleetwood Saturday. It's a big game for us tomorrow. We always highlight the, the game tomorrow as the next big game. And the reality is getting three points is what we all crave. The squad as well, Paul. I mean, you've got decisions with that depth, but then also Sonia Luca coming in scores, scores, scores two goals. Sorry, I thought Sonia was outstanding. And like I said to our supporters, or you know, pre Cambridge game, Sonia's been screaming to play for a period. It was disappointing he pulled out the Gillingham game through a little bit of illness. He's trained so hard. His quality and training is there for all to see. Mm. And eventually, that's what managers want. You want that selection headache where people are telling you, "I should be playing." You know, for us now going forward, it's a, it's a really good period going into Christmas. Everyone will jostle now to get in positions. You know, we want to jostle our way up that league table to get in a position where our fans can think we are going to challenge. Is that what it is, a selection headache? Because you probably want the same players playing with each other and learning, but then you've also got players that are keen to be involved. I think for all managers, it's different. Results dictate your mood. It probably doesn't dictate the calibre of player or what the player will do. Yeah. It just dictates your mood towards picking them. So for us now, we're on a little run that's going okay. Mm. We're not doing amazingly great, but we're not doing amazingly bad. We want to do better. Within that, we'll pick the team that we feel is correct for the game. Tomorrow night, it'll be a tough game. Make no illusions, Portsmouth will be an absolute massive challenge tomorrow night. And we've got to make that challenge head on. You feel on that, that vibe in the, in the group as well, that they're looking at the game saying, well, we've only lost one in the last seven, I think, but we want to be winning the games. Well, you, you keep going, don't you? It's, yeah. it's, you know yourself, guys, through Sky Sports and punditry now, it's a tough place for managers and coaches mm. nowadays. It's very unforgiving. You know, you only have to wait till five past five and you're the worst manager in the world and you haven't got a clue. That's football today. Yeah. None of us can change that. I think some of us who've been in it are probably a bit longer than most would probably like or think can become a little bit immune to it. Mm. And it's that strength of character, that strength of mind that can get you on. For us, we just concentrate on the challenges ahead and doing our best to deliver success for Ipswich Town Football Club that no one can deliver in October or November or December. Yeah. There's so many league games to play for every team mm -hmm. and the consistency around coaches, managers and selections, in my opinion, will be a strength of every team. Finally, a few weeks away, but what do you make of the cup draw? Hold them at home. Love the cup draw. Delighted for our fans, delighted for everyone. It's a great tie. Do you know, as I said before, it'd be great to get into the third round. I think we all sit with that third round as the balls are coming out and we go, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the other side of it, we go, oh, no, not them. You know, for me, I'd love to get a derby match against Norwich. I'd love it to be at Portman Road. I'd love it to be a third round tie. Sunday afternoon, one o'clock, and it'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know, imagine we could win a game like that. So that's all for the future. We've got massive games before that, including Oldham. Mm. It'll be a very, very difficult tie. And then obviously, if we can get through that, a second round tie, that will probably be just as difficult if we get through. So that's always something that we can all think about and dream about, which I think what supporting football teams is about. For us now, the immediate challenge to support them tomorrow night and again that we want to desperately do well.